Hello, welcome to another episode of Madhouse Militia Presents. Uh, I'm here in the washroom right now. Um, uh, right now? Just flash it, sir. Just a regular flash. I'm really sorry to hear that, sir. I think you should see a doctor. Ma'am, mind your, mind your language, please. And first, uh, first, no, 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 I don't want to talk to you. No, 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 I don't want to talk to you. You can find any another place. I am the fucking manager here. Hello and welcome to episode 87 of Madhouse Militia Presents. I hope you enjoyed the intro. It included sound bites of people that we talked to during the show. I'm going to try and do that a little bit more. Gives uh, people a reason to keep on listening past the music. Right? Right. Okay. On top of that, I'd like to give thanks to the following people for helping make the show go. Including Dwight the Janitor. Wasted Memory for RogueServer.com. Dragomir for the corn down at corndown.com or freespeechmotherfucker.com. I'd also like to thank the following people on Patreon, such as Gordo, Dharma Wheelies, Parkman, Crispy808, MST3 Clay, Fancy Pants, Anonymous, Mr. Turbois, Phone Losers of America, Benjamin, Despicable Dogs, Big Boy Farts 666, Jesus Paynus, and Turbo the High Level Squirrel. Thank you to everyone for supporting the show. You can find out more at immoralhole.com. You can find our live show at immoraljuice.com or rogueserver.com or blueplanetprankradio.com on Friday nights at 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Pacific. You can find our show archives at travelswithmiriam.com. You can find our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash madhousemilitia. You can find our YouTube at youtube.com forward slash at madhousemilitia. You can also find other ways to contribute via immoralhole.com forward slash show forward slash contribute. You can now also find us on TikTok at I-M-M-O-R-A-L-H-O-L-E, Immoral Hole. You've reached reser- Thank you for calling the Skyline Tower. How can I help you? Hi. How are you doing? Up Hi. Up in the tower. Good. How are you? Good. Good. I just want to get up there in the tower. Uh, what do I got to do? So, are you looking for the observation deck or for the restaurant? The restaurant to observe the people eating, um, but I'd like to take pictures. Can I Can I do that? Can I get permission to take pictures? Not of the people, but of the facility. I like to bring my camera equipment with me everywhere. I like to take pictures. So, I've never heard of anybody asking that. Um, I'd also like to document the odors. One. I have a YouTube channel. Give me one. So just give me one second to transfer you up to the restaurant because they'll be more equipped with answers than I oh, am. Oh, okay. You're not equipped to do your job? Okay, thank you. Yeah, just because I don't work directly for the restaurant. I work oh, for guest services, oh, so I don't oh, you're just down answers. There, you're, in the, you're inside the engine room. You're doing all the hard work there. But those people up there, they're in their ivory tower looking down on you, Right? Transfer you up to the restaurant, okay? Okay, honey. The Bob and Dining Room. Hi. This is okay. I have questions for you regarding the restaurant. Uh, would I be able to get permission to come there with myself and my camera equipment and my assistants uh, to take photographs of the of the establishment itself and document the odors? Um. When? Oh, that's the question. Yeah, I'm calling now because I just got off from work. Uh, so I yeah, just want to know. Yeah, your best bet is to call during the daytime and speak to a manager. Oh, you're not the manager? No, and we're closed right now, so oh. your best bet is to call daytime. Oh, can I go there and observe you? Pardon me? <laughs> yeah, can I just come in and observe? Observe? Yeah, the odors. I have a, a blog. Yeah, and a, you have YouTube. to call back and speak to a man. Yeah, you 
You have oh. to call back and speak to a manager. I thought this was a restaurant. It is a restaurant. Oh, well, everyone else has their phones and their cameras and they're taking pictures in the restaurant. Why can't I? I you just need to speak to a manager. I can't say yes or no. But everyone else doesn't have to speak to a manager. Why do I now have to speak to a manager? Okay, so if you want to call back tomorrow, that would be awesome. Thank you. That doesn't make sense. Hello. Hey, uh, Hello. how's it going there? How about you? Hey. Yeah, my name is Scoopneck. What's your name? My name? Yeah. Why? Yeah, it's because, you know... I I I got to get a room there, but yeah. you know sometimes it's hard to get a room. But you know, you know me, I can't complain too much. Okay. Are yeah, you so you know I got a here? scoop. Yeah, I got a scoop in my neck, so I need a special pillow that fits right in there. You know, I need a spe- you got the memory foam. No, we don't. Or a have scoop that. neck. No, we don't have. Well, I got my brother with me here. He's he's What's also got a deformity you? of the neck. Room number? No, I yeah. want to stay there. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. We don't have that kind. Okay. What? Good evening, Shatmodeu. Hi. Hey, uh... Hi, sir. How are you? Hey, yeah, good. Hey, you got the fireplaces in the rooms there? In which room you are? You know, no, I want to stay there. I want to. I want to get a room that has a fireplace. No, no, no. You need a room with smoke detector. No, I want a room with the fireplace. You know, because I'm going to stay there during Christmas. And I need somewhere for Santa to come through, you know. Okay. I'm gonna put the, yeah, you know, I'm gonna put the stockings all nice on the fireplace, and then Santa's gonna come down in the hotel, right? Okay. From where you are speaking? Oh, uh, I'm at uh, this is uh, Scoop Neck. I work at the deli down the street, but uh, okay. I'm getting kicked out of my apartment because. I don't know. My uh, my landlord is a real asshole. You know, he's a he's a barrel ass. Okay. So you need the room for tonight? No, I, I need it on Christmas. Christmas on Day. Christmas Day on twenty fifth of December, right? Mm hmm. And for how many nights? Well, I need it all the way through New Year's. No, no, no. For how many nights? Let me tell you something. See, I ain't got much. I don't have much money, you know. So, I was wondering if you guys could do something nice for my kids, you know, like bring them presents and stuff. You know, on Christmas morning, the kids wake up and uh, there'd be a new Xbox, a new iPhone 15, uh, all those things. You could put them under the tree. You could pay for them too. But uh, yeah, so that the kids have a real nice Christmas. So this is a motel number, and we are not celebrating the Christmas like this. Oh, you're not going to buy my children gifts if I stay there? No. Well, no. the other hotels said they were. Okay. No. Oh, come on. Uh, they don't have to be Xbox. It could be, you know, something cheaper. Doesn't matter, sir. But, have... uh, but this is not our policy to buy any gift for any room, uh, any guest. So... It does look. It, it may be iPhone 14. You know, get it used. The Xbox you get refurbished. Sir, I already told you. Uh, Doesn't matter. It's a cheap. And don't forget it's about a... the tree. You gotta put it. You got. Hey, listen to me. You gotta put a tree in the room. No, no, no. You no, gotta no, put no. lights on it. No, no, no. No. Yeah. You mean I gotta? You mean I got to go to work and earn money and buy my own gifts? You can buy What's your own gift. You? you can buy your own gift for your kids, but uh, we are not buying anything for any guest. 
And you're really disappointing me here. I don't know. I'll try yeah. some other hotel. Dad, is yeah. she giving me the Xbox? Look, I'm working I'm working on it, son. I got a new Xbox. This lady's great. Yeah, she said that she's going to buy you one, but uh, I don't know. She's a little iffy. I want to go down and kiss her. So you want to do what now? This kind of policy is not in our, uh, you know, motel's policy, so we can't do like this. Uh, you can find her, any another the, place. Ask, ask if she'll get me the Doolala video game. Hey, you got any of the uh, Bollywood video games? My son, he likes those. Sir, I already told you this is not our policy to buy anything for any guest. So if you want to buy anything, then you can buy yourself or you can find hey, any other give, place. Give me the phone. Give me the phone, Dan. Uh, uh, give me the phone. Hey, hey, take hey, it easy. Here's hey, the phone. Hey, lady. Don't be a bitch. Buy me the Xbox. Ma'am, mind your, mind your language, please. Okay, this is not our mortal's policy. If you want to buy something, then you can buy yourself. And first, uh, first, no, 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 I don't want to talk to you. No, 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 I don't want to talk to you. You can find any another place. Okay, here's my dad. Here's my dad. Here we go, fuck. We'll call her later and help her out. Hello? Hey, Chad Edmonton. Hi. I'm out here with the lady, and she said to call you because there was a situation developing uh, inside her pocket. Okay, so how can I help you with that? Uh, she said she was in one of your rooms earlier, and there was something she found in the room next to the microwave. And it wasn't part of the room, but she said she took it and she put it in her pocket. And she was showing me it, and it was really interesting looking. But we think maybe maybe it's part of the room now because her hand's hurting now. It's in her pocket. Okay, so you got it from the microwave inside the room? Yeah. We don't have microwave yeah. inside the room in any of the rooms. Oh. This well, is a she hostel. said it was a microwave. Maybe it was... Oh, this is well, a then, hostel. You know what it was? Hostel. It was a mirror. She gets confused sometimes. She sees her reflection in appliances, and she thinks that, you know, every appliance is... Well, she doesn't understand what a mirror is. That's the trouble. So she sees herself in the mirror... And she thinks it's, you know, a shiny appliance. So but what's the last name? She spends a lot of time in the kitchen. What's oh, her last Oh, well, her last name was Bop. But I don't think she was under that. And the first name? Angela. Angela Bop. Okay. Um, I don't think we have any guest stayed here by that name. My name is is Benjamin, Benjamin Chode. Okay. I we don't have that name here either. Oh. Well, I wasn't staying there. Okay. Uh please check the phone number. I think you're calling it the wrong address. Okay, but she has your mirror from the bathroom most likely. Uh mirror from the, uh we don't, we don't lose any mirror from the bathroom. We have everything. Have you here. checked in the past half hour? Because she was just there, and she put it in her in her, in her pocket, which she said was quite moist and warm. Okay. Uh, okay. So, so you are just letting me know that. She took the mirror? Well, she took the mirror and my son's gone and do. Okay. Uh, yeah, so here everything is all right. If there is any issue, we will let you know. Okay. Well, perfect. Uh, don't don't there, let me know. Just 
is there any contact number that I can call you? Oh, it's the one on the the phone. I I don't know it. I don't know it by heart. I have a condition with uh, shiny objects and, okay. and appliances that are very shiny. Okay. Okay. I'm yeah. not allowed to own uh, many telephones or appliances. Okay. Uh, understand. If there is anything, and we my will wife give you. isn't very happy with the service. Okay. Let me put her on the phone. You can talk to my wife. You know, you know what? Uh, we don't have any issues here. So if there is anything regarding this mirror, here, we will take the get... phone, honey. Here, he wants to speak to uh, you. I'm very upset. Okay. I'm gonna. I want it. Okay. I'm gonna. I wanted to try to break the mirror. I was so upset. I'm taking I'm taking my boys on and do pocket pussy. Okay. If there is anything that we need to talk, then we will contact you. Thanks for calling. We need Bye-bye. to talk about that. No. No. Good evening, Vascona Services. Hello? 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 Hi. Hi, Hi. we're all on the speaker phone. Let me give it to my wife here. She wants to talk to you about the things. Hello. Hi there. I had some Christmas concerns. Oh, I had some Christmas concerns. Mm hmm. So, like, how. Oh my goodness, I need to speak up. I had some concerns regarding like the the I know that you don't permit candles, but um there's a whole bunch of us here and we're coming and we're bringing our our we're going wassailing. You know what wassailing means? No, sorry. Yeah, are you actually in the hotel right now? We're on our way. We are carolers. We drink and sing. Here we come a caroling along the way so green. We drink eggnog. So what are you actually looking oh, for? No, 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 no. That's little little Jimmy. Here comes Santa Claus, here comes Santa Claus. Right down Santa Claus Lane. Front desk. Hi. Hello. Uh, we're changing things in the room. We got a meter set up because we want to see when when the big fat man drops from the ceiling uh, and into the room for the presents. You know how much he weighs. So we got a meter in the room here. And we're going to meter what's, things. What's your room number? Oh, I'm not there yet. Well, we're planning on metering the room. We're going to set up machines that meter things. You know, like a uh, weight machines. Okay, but okay. we are fully booked for tonight. So for we, oh, we yeah, not have tonight. No, for Christmas. For Christmas. Here comes Santa Claus. Here comes Santa Claus. I found Santa Claus lay. He's got a big nose and a big belly, and he's got a big fat sack too. <laughs> Can I help you? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you now. Okay, I'm in the bathroom. How can I help you? I just, I'm kind of in the bathroom and I, you know, I don't know what to do. You fucking dare. Take a bistro. How can I help you? Hi, hello? Hi. Hi. Can good, you, good evening. Can you help me? I, Hi, can you hear me? Hi, how are you? Yes, yes, sir. How can I help you? Yeah, uh, 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 trouble, uh, trouble, yeah, trouble in the bathroom. Can you help me? Sorry? In the what, bathroom, happened, like, sir? you know how the bathroom, how does the bathroom work? Bathroom? Uh, are you in the men's bathroom yeah. right now? How, how does it, how do you, how do you make it go? Uh... Just flash it, sir. Just the regular flash. No, but 
Yeah, I, I'm trying, but how do you make it go? It's, it, it doesn't go. Wait, 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 sir, wait. One second, sir, Stupid. I'm all done. Hey, I said, hello? I said, stupid, hello? Yeah, take out. Hello? Hello? Hey, stupid, hello? 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 You, can you hear me? Sir, uh, are Hi, you yeah. here Zyka Bistro? Zyka Bistro, Elwood Drive? Yeah, how, does the, how do you make it go? It doesn't go. Uh, I'm here in the washroom right now. Yeah, how do you make it go? I ran away. I got. I'm hiding. I I ran. Sorry. I ran. I I'm hiding. You're hiding. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hiding, hiding. Okay. How uh, do you make sir, it go? Yeah. yeah, just. Just. How do I? Okay, I want to look. I want to make it go. Stupid. Hello? Yeah. Sir, I, I don't understand. Hi. Yeah. Are you calling oh, here at yeah. Zyka Bistro and Wood Drive? Yeah, 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 yeah. And Wood Drive. Elwood Drive. Zyka Bistro, Elwood Drive. Elwood Drive. Yes, the Bistro Row. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. So, so, How do you sorry, make it sir, go? I, I think you got the wrong number, sir. Oh God! Oh, okay. oh God! I, got, I think you got oh. you you got the wrong number. Oh. I'm having trouble now. To be flat. Okay. Thanks for being a line there. Hello? Hey, I have an issue. Hi, sir. So I was eating there with my friend, and he recommended I eat the chicken. Right, sir. You following me? Yeah, I can, I can hear you. Can you hear me well? Well, nobody told me that Indian food is really hard on your stomach. Nobody told me that. And I wish you guys would have told me because now I'm, there's an issue. I'm in the bathroom. Uh, so our food, it's medium spice. It's not spice. Like, it's not um, high spice. It's like just like medium spice. What chicken did you have? Well, it's not just spice. It's greasy. It's greasy chicken in it. Like, I'm in the bathroom now and I'm taking a shit. I'm really sorry about that, sir. So what chicken did you have? I don't remember. It was just shit chicken, and now I've been here, and I haven't left, and I've just been taking a shit. What time were you here? I was there yesterday, and the food was good and all, but now I just can't leave. I just, I've just been taking a shit all day. I'm really sorry to hear that, sir. I think you should see a doctor. Are you a doctor? Or do you know a doctor? No, I'm not a doctor. Uh, you can look like you can go to any, any doctor and see a doctor. Is, is your sister a doctor? <laughs> Cousins. I'm healthy. Hello? Hey, did you hear the news? Did you hear about what happened? I'm sorry, sir. Did you hear what happened? Uh, are you calling an Indian affair? Yes, I'm calling you, but I'm wondering, did you hear? No. Okay, listen. Okay. I ate the food and now I'm taking a shit. Hello? 
Hi, I, it's because I ate food there and now I'm taking a shit. <laughs> Thank you for calling Dazen. How can I help you? Dazen, I'm in the bathroom. Hello. Hi, I'm in the bathroom in my room. Okay. And I'm stuck. What's the problem? I'm stuck in the room. I ate a bunch of Indian food and now I cannot leave the toilet. Hello? Good evening, thank you for calling Super 8. How may I address your call? Hello? Hi, Super 8. There was a man. Oh, hello, can you hear me? Yeah, how can I help you? Hello? 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 Can you hear me? I was trying to take a shower and there... Yes, yes, there's some kind of a delay. Hello? Okay, how can I help you? Hello, there's a... a man, and he's been trying to take an hour with me, and I'm trying to tell him no, but he told me that I need to call down to the front desk because they'll tell me it's it's okay. Can, just say no to drugs, ma'am. Just say no. Excuse me? Good evening. Thank you for calling Super 8. How may I direct your call? Oh, I did too many drugs, and now I'm... Oh, oh here it goes. Yeah. Sure. Fuck you. Hey, what's your problem, lady? Get a life. Stop harassing me. Like, really, get a life. No. Fuck you. We drugs. only called you it's one time. Harassment. What do you mean, get a life, bitch? You're mad because you got to do your job? <laughs> Green State Kitchenist, can I help you? Hi, yeah. Can you help me? Uh, I got my finger inside the machine, and I was trying to make Christmas presents for my kids, but now I'm, the finger's in the, the machine that's plugged in. What you're talking about? Well, there's a machine here in the room, and my finger's stuck in it. What room? Well, the bedroom, of course. I think you're calling wrong number. No, this is the budget, right? No. Oh. Well, this is the queen, then. It's Queen City Kitchen, it. Yeah, where's the queen there? I what do you mean, queen? I thought that the queen died. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm sorry. We found her in the bathroom. We found her? We found her. She's here? Yeah, they found her in the bathroom. And this guy won't let me see her. Oh, my God. Tell him to let us see her. Can we see her body? Hey, man, you have to let her see her, man. You can't just do that to us. I'm on the phone now. My friend's taking a shit, so I'm on the phone. You can't can't do that. You need to let her see her. That's 
say, I'm going to get my wife. Bappy? Oh, here I come. Talk to this fat fuck. Hey, have you been provoking my husband? Baby, he's being a little bitch. What did you say to him? He told me I was fat. <gasps> How dare you! Shame on you! Baby, should I, should I go kiss him in the ass? Do it! Baby, you know how macaroni has those holes inside of it? Yeah. Love you, honey, baby. Waste Sometimes I put cheese in the macaroni. Ooh. Oh. so good. Can I pour some macaroni on you and eat it off? Yeah, keep on. Keep going. Oh, yeah. oh it smells like hell in here. Don't stop, Lazma. Don't stop. Don't stop, son. Keep going. Oh, my. Look back up. Why? I've never seen so much in my life. My wife loves it. Keep fucking going. Where my wife is it fucking from? loving it. Where does it all come from? Yes, baby. Come on, yes, baby. I know oh. you like that. What's a marvel? It's dead. Milk on here? Hey. Milkman, why don't you come on over here, boy? Hey, baby. You know what? I got some on my face. You looking good, baby. What's your name? Here, I got something to tell you. Come, let me tell you a secret. Come on, baby. Hey, I'm listening. Oh, 
Yes, you 
I got your number on my face. Yeah. Mm. Smells like beans. Yeah, baby. Baby's foot all over me, baby. Hey. Here I go. I'm gonna wear it like a star. Hello? Ma'am, hello? I was in my room and I dropped my lanyard in the toilet. Oh no, uh, lanyard for the. For my reward card, I was in my toilet. I see. Uh, we can have that uh, replaced. I would, but this is my lucky lanyard. I met oh, my no. wife with this lanyard and I hit the jackpot in 85. Ooh. Was it flushed already, sir? Uh, no, it's kind of. I took. I'm a, uh, I took a number two and it wrapped around in its plug, but it's halfway out. I it see. keeps slipping out of my hand. 
I God I'm damn not, it, it smells. Uh, we can just give you a replacement, guys. Our our replacement. Oh, this uh, is like, my lucky one. This one's lucky. I hit the jackpot in '85, and I met my wife with this lanyard. I see. I we have dry sure. cleaning. I no, not here in the casino, sir. Uh, well, if someone could just help me get it off the turd and unclog the toilet, I guess we could clean it. But I'm uh, not strong enough to pull. Where are you staying? I'm here in the casino. Uh, where, sir? Where, which one? Which Hold restaurant? Hold on. The, the phone's getting slippery. Talk to my brother, Lou. Yes, this is Lou. And how can I help, sir? Hello? Yeah? He needs that lanyard because it's lucky to him. It's how he wins in the casino. Okay. He won $25,000 and... with it. Are, and where are you? Where specifically are you? We're in the room right now. What happened is, he was trying to wash himself in the shower. He never takes the lanyard off. As he bent over backwards to wash his balls, he fell in the lanyard toilet. He simultaneously slipped and hit his face on the edge of the, of the toilet seat. While pulling on the handle, the handle then flushed the water down and the lanyard went away with it. And we're trying to pull it because I have my hand on the on the rope and it's stuck. And now we're stuck in the toilet and your ass needs to get here and help us. Help us. Help us. Damn you, you bitch. Help us. Okay, sir. And uh, how, give us a, your help location. Us. And how can go there. Help us. All right, I just have to have Get fucking one, lanyard out the toilet. Get the lanyard okay. out the toilet, you bitch. Okay. Thank you for calling, sir. Fuck you. Thanks for calling Great Resort and Casino. Hello. Hello? Hi. Hi, ma'am. How are you? I'm doing I well. Can. How can I help I'm you? I'm smoking a cigarette. I'm smoking. I have a cigarette in my mouth. That's okay, I can I help you. Cig- <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I just like to put things in my mouth when I'm on the phone. No worries. Did you need the hub resort? Uh, no, I just wanted to let you know if my brother calls for me, don't let him know that I'm here. I shouldn't be here. Okay. We okay. wouldn't just close anything if like someone that. Calls looking, if someone calls looking for Bill, Mr. Bill Ding... I'm not here, okay? Okay, sounds good. You enjoy. Okay, I love you. I Bye. love you, baby. Who are you on the phone with, Bill? Oh. SPB episode 927. Hi. Hello? Hi. Hi. Um, it, it, Did Bill just... Is Bill there? Um... Is he an employee? No, Bill, Bill, he's he's there. there. He's an old man. No, we... No, we don't know any Bill. Just lots of, like, uh, guests up here. Bill, you know Big Bill? They call him Big Bill? He has a lanyard? No. No. You don't know anybody named Bill? No. I'm sorry. They call him Big Dick Bill. Sometimes he fuck the the girls that work there. No, I'm sorry. He has money, and sometimes the girls there they're like really desperate, yeah, but, so he but, offers them money to fuck them. Oh, that. Have a good night. What to do? Hello. What to do? I just want to say thank you for not telling my boyfriend that I was here. Yeah, no worries. I appreciate it. That's why I like coming here. That's why I spent my hard-earned money here. Yeah, no worries. That's why I got my lucky lanyard here. You know that? In 1985, I hit the big jackpot. $25. Nice. I bought myself a Model T.
Why won't you talk? Put the lady on the phone. I want to thank her. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Gilbert, can you slow down when you talk? I can't hear you. I am so sorry, sir. How may I help you, sir? This is a different casino. God damn, I'm an old man. Slow it down. I'm an old man. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. How may I help you, sir? All right, beautiful man. Uh, oh, God. Do you have any cigarettes? A cigarette? Yes. Yes, we do have a cigarette, sir. We, uh, we, can you uh... Put, can you put one in my mouth for me and light it? No, sir, I can't. I can't do that, sir. Can you put... Can you put any something else in my mouth, maybe? No, sir. Unfortunately, there's a gums there. Like we have a vending machine for gums. You can you, know, you can purchase a gums here in the vending machine. I have a lot of money to spend if you just put it in my mouth. No, sir. I don't do that, unfortunately, sir. My arms are weak. I can't put big things in my mouth anymore. I need help. Yeah, no, I, like we don't do that, sir, unfortunately. That's too personal. There's air tight in my mouth, please. Sorry, sir. Uh, are you staying in the hotel right now? You're a beautiful, you're a beautiful man. Yes, I'm a beautiful, you're a beautiful man. Yeah, unfortunately, we can do that, sir. Sorry, that's too personal, okay? I just want to put it in my mouth and smoke. Yeah, we don't do that, unfortunately. You have a lighter? Sir. I don't have can a lighter. Can you light it for me, then? Uh, we can light it for you. We have, you our, have a yeah. match? We have a match, yeah. Uh, do you, uh, I only use uh, solar hits from the sun in a magnifying glass. Yeah, just come over here to test. We'll get, you know, you know, light it up for you. You know, uh, we just light it up for you outside the hotel, okay? Oh, thank you. You're welcome. I'll bye. be the man in assless chaps. All right, thank you. Okay, thank me. These websites. Good evening. Thank you for calling. Different oh. casino. May, may I put you for a second very I, quick? Thank no, you. No, we have a situation. No. Oh, yeah, God, what no. What ah. happened, sir? Hello. Hello? Are you talking to me? <laughs> well, I don't know. You called me, so I'm just saying hello. That's not That's... true. I just answered my phone. It rang, and I picked it up. <laughs> well, it, mine rang, too, and I just picked it up. <laughs> so. Well, who's this? <laughs> I'm I'm up in, <laughs> in B.C., Canada. You sound Texan or something. <laughs> Uh, now I'm from Southern California. Southern California. <laughs> now there's, now yes, there's sir. a glitch because <laughs> I didn't dial you and you didn't dial me. I'm a glitch in the matrix. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, have a good night. <laughs> Hold on. Now this must have happened for a reason. If you believe in the matrix, what do you think it might be that we accidentally called each other? <laughs> well, I didn't call you because I wasn't even I wasn't even uh, near my phone when it rang. So I have no maybe, idea. Maybe maybe you know something that I don't or I know something that you need to know. Maybe if you just hold on a second, we can get to the bottom of this cuz this just don't happen all the time. <laughs> it certainly doesn't. <laughs> yeah. But uh Do you believe in a higher power? Not at all. Not at all. <laughs> You're an atheist. I am card carrying. <laughs> so, what what does that mean to you? Do you celebrate Christmas? <laughs> I celebrate my family. Yes. I believe Christmas should just be celebrated as like a end of the year thing that we survived another harsh winter. And now we just like be around each other. I don't think it should be religious. I agree with you there, and, and ours isn't. <laughs> it's a celebration of our families. Do you have a tree? Oh, yeah, <laughs> but I also have a forest. <laughs> so a forest? You have yep. that much land up in B.C., Canada? Uh, yeah, yeah, quite a bit. <laughs> Are you rich? Uh, oh, no. <laughs> well, okay. It depends on your definition of rich. I'm rich in experience. I'm <laughs> rich in humor. <laughs> and uh, and I... Well, if you're a, rich in humor, do you want to know massive, a joke? And I have a massive forest around me in the heart of the Canadian Rockies. So I am rich, yes. Oh, man. I thought you were going to say you have something else massive. <laughs> oh, 
Well, look, it's been nice talking with you. <laughs> you you have a good night. Don't you want to hear a dirty joke? No, not at all. I want to just sit here and watch my television. <laughs> Let me just tell you the joke, and then I'll be on my way. <laughs> all right, one joke. <laughs> all right, so a midget goes to a hooker and gets crabs. Then he comes back. And he says, hey, Hooker, I want my $10 back. And Hooker says, you want your money back? Why? And he says, because you gave me crabs for $10. And she said, well, for $10, what do you expect? Lobster? <laughs> okay. With, with that, good night. <laughs> good night. Merry Christmas. Thank you for calling the Landing Resort and Spa. This is Drew speaking. How may I assist you? We want to go skiing. Is there a way we can go? Um, right now? Well, when can we? Tomorrow? Yeah, sure. You know what, man? Just talk to my brother, Elasma. Hello? Thank you for calling Margaritaville Resort um, Heavenly Village. How may I help you? Well, hi. How you doing? Hi, how can I help you? Well, I'm here with my family and we were just wondering if you had any rooms available. Um, yeah, we do. Are you looking for just one night? We're looking for, yeah, just one night, uh... There's five, there's nine of us. If you can fit us in one room, that'd be great. Um, we don't. Our, we only have our one king suite and then our two, um, queen suites. They only, both of them sleep four people. Alright, there's just four of us. I can send the other ones away. They're not so important. Okay. Um, yeah. We'll just leave him on the gondola tonight. Oh. They like to go yeah. up there and mm-hmm. freeze their asses off for some reason. Yeah. 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 So, um, are you interested in the one? Switch watch- out. Here, you take the phone. I gotta go to the bathroom. Okay, Daddy. Is it okay if we switch out four at a time? Get me to the person. Tahoe Lakeshore Lodge and Spa. This is Iris speaking. How may I help you? Iris, you said? This is Syra. Syra. How may I help you? Oh, I'm looking for a place to lay my weary head uh, for Christmas. I have to bring presents to several people. I'm dealing with an organization that deals with orphans. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I have orphan children with me. They're uh, they're 47 years old. Some of them. They're lost. (laughs) Alrighty. And did you need like a condo, two bedroom, two bath condo, or did you need a lodge with two queen beds? Uh, whatever's the biggest to keep them away from me. I'm scared of them. I don't want to do this. It's community Alrighty. service. I'm not. I don't want to be doing this. Alrighty. Sea urchins, you know. They got. They got problems. Here, let me put them on the phone. Here. Here, let me put speaker phone. No, Here, let me fine. press the button. <laughs> no, it's all good. <laughs> well, don't be shy. The lady's on the phone. Talk to her. Hello. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Now they're they're scared of me. Alrighty. And is it just for Christmas that don't you were hit interested me, in Dad. Uh it's just yeah, you know, the one I'm here. I'm here. Yeah, there we go. Dad, are you my dad? Anxiety. Here, take the phone. Yeah, I have to um, go to the restroom. Ma'am. Okay. Ma'am. 
Alrighty. So the All biggest right. room that we have is a two-bedroom, two-bath condo. Listen, uh -huh. listen to me, please. We just arrived here from Ukraine. We are orphans from Ukraine. Mom? Okay. Yes, I'm listening. It's very, very sad. My family is not here with me. This man helped me when no one else would. And earlier when you laughed, it made me very sad. I'm sorry to hear blow that. Up toilet. It made me very sad because I have seen such horrible things in the war. Yes. And it's funny to you. Why is it funny? Why do you laugh? I am I was not laughing um in that matter. It's just that the gentleman sounded a little bit more like he wanted to get rid of you, but um, but it seems like he wanted yes, something like a room just me. away from you guys. And it's like, sounds like it's a family kind of thing. Um, so I no, wanted to... No, 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 no. He's a, he's a very kind man. He went to Ukraine with an NGO and he helped to bring us here. My, my wife, my wife yes. was raped in front of me by Russian soldiers. My child oh, no. raped in front of me by Russian soldiers. They cut off my penis. I have nothing. I have nothing. I am so sorry this to hear man, that. He's, he, he saved me. My wife and daughter are dead. My family is dead. <laughs> Only this man. He saved I'm me. I'm so sorry. So you. when you laugh, when you laugh, it hurts. I'm sorry hurts. about that. I was not laughing for that matter. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry I that heard I you laugh. That way. I heard you laugh like, like the soldiers that raped my wife. I heard you laugh. I'm Why? So sorry. I was not laughing at that matter. <laughs> sir, sir, take the phone, please. Please take the phone. Yeah, hi. I, need. I, made, I made a mess in there. I am so what sorry about you? that. Yeah, it's not funny, is it? It is not. You blew no. up toilet. He blew up the toilet. We had some fireworks and we were trying to, you know, figure out what to do with them. And we're in the room boom. Here already. Yes, I am so sorry about and that. We, we broke and the toilet. It's 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 gone. It's just, there's no. Toilet. My friend. Did you need to book a room um, behind that can accommodate your family? Oh, God, they're going off again. <laughs> oh, no. He's like, he's like war. Oh. Hey, come on, Cordito. We must hide behind the toilet. It's like war. Oh. 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 Give me bulletproof business. Oh no! I can't. Oh no! In my wall! Stop it! Ah! Yes! Yes! I don't know! Oh no! I get this right! It's going against me! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Hide behind toilet with me! Come, Cordito! Yeah, hi. Can you help me with these orphans? Sorry, with what? The orphans. Orphans? Yeah. They sent me over here with a bunch of orphans. 
Um, I don't understand, sir. You're calling to a hotel? Yeah, and they they want me to figure out where to place the orphans when I get there. I had to put them into places. I was told I could have room for them, orphan room. Uh, hi, this is uh, Joshua at the front desk here. What is an orphan room? For the orphans that I'm bringing. For the service. Uh, who do they belong to? Oh, the service was sending me over with the orphans to, you know, a safe place for them. Uh... Out of, for a hotel room or what? Yeah, yeah. And who is and who and who is speaking here? Who am I speaking to? Oh, oh, you want the man in charge? Well, I don't know what you're necessarily what you're calling about. Do you want to make a reservation or are you yeah, asking about something? Yeah, for the something? orphans. Yeah, we're trying to place the orphans in a you know room. We, we're limited. So on what is what is the orphans? The are they actual are they actual orphans or is that the name of yeah, a group or something? Yeah, let me put you on something? with one so you can understand. All right, hold on, just hold on a second here. Give me one second. Here, kid. Hey, take the phone. Here, talk to him about it. Hello. Hi. How can I help you? Hello. Hi. This is Grand Lebakin Hotel. Uh, we are yes, uh, we need a uh, room okay, Please uh help who are and where are you yes, we uh we are with the man i I don't know what is this place called okay uh what city we, we are, are you from in? What? uh ukraine okay ukraine Kiev. So, do you need a hotel room tonight? Uh, yes, yes, please. All right. Do you have a Do you have a ride or transportation to come to Grand Lebakin, the hotel? Uh, this um this man um drive. Okay, we do have a hotel room tonight. Yes. 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 Um, all right. All right. Can you uh? Safe? Is it safe? Is it? Yes. It's it's safe. It's, it's a hotel. Safe? Uh. In 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 the war, um, my family was killed. I see. Yes, my son is is killed. My wife is killed. Um. A NGO, do you know? Do you know this? NGO. Yes. yes. They come. They help. So can they can they pay for a room tonight for you? Um, sir, sir, Are they? Can they can drive you, you to the? Can, can they hear, drive sir? you to the can hotel, hear, sir? Yes. I'm sir, can you, can you hear? Can you hear? Uh, this man, he, uh, he, uh, he make us do, do things, or he will not help. He's, um, he make us do things like um, um, sexual, sexual things. Okay. Or he said no help. Can, okay. Can you help? Uh, perhaps. Can you help? Perhaps yes, but uh, are you able? How? Uh, where are you coming from? Where are you coming from? In in the um in my mouth in um where uh, the poop come from? He come everywhere. I see. Well, I'm not able to provide uh free hotel rooms. I can't give you a room for free for tonight. If no, uh, somebody... no, not not free, not free. He, he make me do things with my mouth. What do you mean by that? I I I do for you. I do for you. For who? Do you need me? Do you need me to call nine one one for you, sir? What What is this? 
Do you need me to call the police for you, sir? Police? No, 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 police. I, um, I, I am homosexual. Police will not help. All right, I, I cannot help. Okay. I. Good evening, Taha Valley Lodge. Hello. Hello, my name's Oleg. I call from uh, the NGO Putin's Angels. Uh, we have the orphans. Uh, where do we drop them off? Good evening. Thank you for calling Motel 6 in Grand Prairie. Colette speaking. How may I help you? Uh, hello. Um, yes, I, I'm calling from the NGO uh, Putin's Angels. We have the orphans. Where do we drop them off? Pardon me? Uh, the orphans, where do we drop them off? I'm sorry, you're calling Motel 6 in Grand Prairie, Alberta? Yes, it's all, it's all been arranged. Yes, I'm with the syndicate, with, with, with the NGO, Putin's Angels. We're here to drop off the, uh, the orphans from the Ukraine. We're dying. I have no idea what you're talking about. Uh, could you put a man on the phone, please? There is no man here. So, who are you? I'm the front desk agent. You're calling a motel. Yeah, could you put the manager on the phone, please? Uh, there is no manager here until Monday. What? I, I wish to speak to somebody in charge. Uh, that would be me at the moment. But you are a woman. Where the fuck am I supposed to put these fucking orphans? They won't shut the fuck up. Okay, I'll be calling the police and they'll be putting a tracer on this phone number. Oh, no, not a tracer. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no. no okay, no, I no, will be putting it through to the police. <gasps> <Your holes. laughs> Thank you for calling South Shan. This is Kimberly. How may I help you? Hi, I want to talk to your ear holes. Can we do that? Yeah, yeah. Oh, perfect. How many is it to get from here to there? How many what? Yes. The orphans. The radicalized orphans from from that place. They need to be dumped in the lobby. That's what my boss said to do. Well, I'm going to put my boss on. I'm going to put my boss on. He knows more about the orphans than I do. Yeah. All right. Uh, hello, my name Oleg. Hello. Hello. Yes. How can I help uh, you, I'm, Oleg? I'm with the. Uh, I'm with NGO uh, Putin's Angels. Uh, we have the orphans from the Ukraine. Okay. Yeah, where we put? Where we put orphans? You tell me. I have no idea, Oleg. Can we put in lobby or behind? I don't know. You tell me, lady. Why would I know? Are uh, you in charge? Where, where, where is man? Put man on the phone. Hey, hey, Milky, you you speak to this lady. So there will be a man in the morning. You know, wait till the morning. Hello. We can airdrop the children there. Give me a second guess. Hello, yeah. is this the front desk? This is the front desk, yes. Yeah. All right. So I got a little bit. I, I was just had a question. Okay. You haven't gotten any complaints about uh, it smelling like marijuana on the second floor, right? No, I haven't heard anything about that, no. Beautiful. I just wanted to make sure. I, I had the towel under the door, so we're all okay. good. Okay. Yeah, so... Okay. Yeah. Hey, so that's okay. That's cool. Someone smoking in oh. there? Oh, hold on. Hello? There's someone at the front at the desk. You said it's cool, so I'm going to let you talk to him. 
What? You know, it's doing this. Here you go. No, no, on. no. It's Here's a smoke. It's, it's, a smoke Here you go. it's a smoke-free <laughs> facility. Oh, man. Here he is. Shut the fuck up. Here's the guy. Oh. Here's the guy at the door. I don't. Hey, there's Tell a guy here smoking. It's a smoke-free oh. facility. There are designated smoking areas. You have to smoke Why in designated smoking areas. Why you tell him he can smoke areas. in here? My kids are sleeping next door. And we're all, we're all definitely getting contact high here, buddy. What the hell gives? Hey, hey, he said it's okay. The front desk is okay. No, 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 no. If you're in designated okay. smoking areas, it is cor- you can do that. But if it's not in designated smoking areas, you cannot smoke in the rooms. They are smoke-free rooms. You are. Why is there, job, I why is there so much pot smoke in okay. this room? Man. The front desk, I have him on the phone. Give right me a hit. No, it is a smoke-free a facility. You are not allowed okay. to smoke in the unit. Oh, yeah. You are not allowed to smoke in the no, unit. Ah, oh, shit. You already I said it. You already said it. Oh. Oh, oh no. my gosh! Oh, oh my gosh! Hold on! Oh! Let the pot smoke out. God. There you go. Knock it out. Oh. There you go. <laughs> it is a smoke-free facility. There's no Dude. smoking in these units. Oh, yeah. The window. Yeah. But what about what I about smoke for free? free. There is designated bomb. smoking I areas if you want to smoke, free. but it is not in the room. Yeah. That is not allowed. Is there like a designated? Ooh. Is there like a designated glass breaking zone? <laughs> Ooh, what? Geez, this is good stuff, man. They, they, they just broke weed. my windows out, man. They just popped the windows right out. They came into the room. They were like, hey, my kids are next door. It smells like marijuana. I gotta you guys got to They came in and they took the chair and they just went pop right through it. This blunt is kicking, man. You got a bong? Boom. Oh, I dropped the bong. Oh, no. My glass bong broke. Thank <laughs> you for whispering was resort. <laughs> this is the front desk. Hello? No, this is our answering service. All right, connect me to the front desk. Thank you. Okay, I can take a message. Their office is closed. They'll not, oh, will not be back until 9 a.m. There's nobody I can connect you with. I can take a message, though. What what use are you, man? Your job seems like it means absolutely nothing. Like you can't do, you do anything for now? me. You literally can't do anything for me. What can you do? Okay. Connect I me to someone I can talk to that's like in I the can building. T- Sir, if you don't want to leave a message, I'm going to disconnect this call. Maintenance, security. Anyway, so there's nobody in this hotel. So you're telling me there's nobody in this hotel right now? Do you want to leave a message? If a not, night. I'm disconnecting this, this call. It's a Friday night, ma'am. Okay, have a good night. Do you understand the danger of this? I'm asking uh, you if you want to leave a message, and you're not answering me. No, so if you're not I don't want to answer, fucking leave a message. Call. Hang up the goddamn phone, you dumb Well, bitch. you have a good night. Goodbye. <laughs> good evening. Thank you for calling the Allison Inn Spa. My name is Aaron. How am I assist you? Hey, Aaron. How are you doing tonight? Pretty good. How about yourself? Hello? Uh, I'm up in my room, and I'm having a little bit of an issue. Okay. Hello. Uh, but that, uh, yeah. Can, can you hear me? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, well, I'm just wondering, like, have you gotten any complaints about it smelling like marijuana on the second floor? Um. No. No. No complaints. Oh, okay, cool. 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 Okay. So that makes me feel a lot less paranoid. Um. Oh, uh, aside from that, like, like, so the dog situation, like, I, my dog keeps, this is my neighbor keeps yelling at me for my dog getting too barky and stuff, and I keep kicking it and telling it to stop, but like, it, it, it keeps barking, and I, I keep, I, I've been blowing smoke on it to keep it like, you know, kind of calm and stuff, but like, the neighbor saw me do that and he got all mad at me. So how, how should I go about dealing with this situation? I, my I dog's kind of high. I, I think we're at. A high dog friendly hotel, so um, it's completely allowed. I don't think anyone's going to complain. I think I think you're all set up. I think we're we're going to calm the people Damn. down if they call down about it. 
Yeah. I mean, he was like That's kicking on my door. Th- he, I, I, I mean, I, I'm like kind of looking out the thing in the hallway, and I can see him kind of looking for me right now. He's like, he's got his nose on the ground. He's like sniffing under the doors right now. It's weird. It's, I'm not talking about the dog. I'm talking about the guy. It's really weird, dude. I don't know what he's doing. He's sniffing. He's sniffing the ground, dude. He's trying to find which room, and he's 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 coming to my room right now. Oh god. Oh god. Oh my gosh. Hold on. Well, I, I hope you're enjoying the party there. Sounds like serious. Here, here, wait. Hold on. I'm going to let you talk to him. I'm going to let you talk to him. I'm going to do that here. Take him to the front desk. Hey. You can't be sniffing like that. You can't be sniffing that like that. He smells goes. good. That smells like good stuff, man. Hey, man. Smells hook me stuff. up. You sell me a... Hi, you're Regency. I'm going to assist you. Who am I speaking to? Um, this is AJ. AJ, is there a man that worked there I can talk to? I don't feel comfortable talking to a woman. Oh, well, no. This is all you get tonight, bud. But there's just something that happened outside in the snow. In the snow? And I don't think you're going to believe me. That's why I need to talk to a man. You need a man in your life because you don't have anything to do with yourself. You need to get your life together. Because I don't have time to play with you. I'm trying to work. What the fuck are you talking about, bitch? Don't fucking come at me that way. I got wind down. Everyone calm the fuck down. Call this number again. I'm sending over to the Hoover Police Department. 209 You hung up on me. See, this is why I didn't want it to a woman. You can't handle it. You can't handle it. I'm about to your number to the police department. Fucking dumb bitch. Thank you for calling me. Hey, Hoover, how can I help you? Hey, dude, your girl just hung up on me, dude. Who did what to who? Your girl that works there just hung up on me, and I don't appreciate that shit. I don't even know who you're talking about. I'm the only one here. You swear. You swear. You're the only one there. There's not a girl there? No, there's nobody here. I think you got the wrong number. Hold on, bro. Hold on. Wait. What's your name? Yes. Where do you want me to drop off the tampons, bro? Are you on your period or what? I don't know. Am I? Hello there. Who am I speaking to? How may I help you? Hello, how may I help you? Who am I speaking with? Who am I speaking with? My name is Denise. Denise, is there a man working there with you? Yes, there is. Can I speak to him? Something happened outside, and I just don't feel comfortable talking to a woman about it. Uh, He's not available at this time. Okay, well, Denise, you're not going to believe me. Okay. You see, I just was outside in the wood. And... Hello? Yes, I can hear you. Take me off speaker, please. I don't want people to hear what I'm about to tell you. Hi, Bancho. Is there a guy there? Who? Is there a man no. I can speaking with? Man, nobody man here. Hi. Who are you? What? Who are you? The Four Winds Country Motel. Can I come over there? Can I come in the bed or no? What? I want to come in your bed. What? I want to come in your bed just like the man coughing. I came in his ass, and that's why he's going, oh, oh. Wrong number. (gasps) No, baby, it's no wrong number. I want you. Thank you for calling. 
Let's do it. Hello? Hey, I came in. I need to speak to a man. A man now. Man. Six. There's the man there. There's a fucking man on the phone right now. Stop calling him. The man. Put the man on, then we'll stop. No, no. More Friday before Christmas. All the way to the motel, how can I help you? Hey, Hello? I. you're not going to believe this, but I seen yeah, I'm, some you're, shit you're probably, outside the hotel. You're probably right. You're probably right. I'm probably not going to believe it because you haven't told me anything Well, yet. do you want to listen? Do you want to be the smart ass? Do you want to listen to me or do you want to be a smart ass about it? Hey, this man spit on me. Uh-oh. Thank you for calling the hollow in a motel. How could I help you? Excuse me, but something happened outside the hotel room, and I just don't know how to explain it. Well, start explaining. So, you see, I came here with my friend, and we were staying in a room. And he left out, and I went outside in the back by the like, like the little wooded area. You know how there's like a little bit of like trees and stuff? Well, he came out of the trees, and he asked me what time we were going to leave. And I said, what are you talking about? Because I was on the phone with him. He had left an hour ago. Okay. So are who the fuck was I talking somebody? to? Do you guys have ghosts? No. Are you No. Do you guys somebody? have skinwalkers? No. No, I'm not. I'm in the room, and my friend's gone, but he's outside, walking around. It's a skinwalker. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's not funny. Why are you laughing? He's, he's out funny. there walking around, and he's... He's a skinwalker lady or a witch like you. Let him walk around then. No, it's not him. What do you want? I want you to cast this on me, you old witch. Fuck you. Ask her what her name what? is. What's your name, honey? Call the cops. Who the fuck do you, you think you like are, it? old lady? I am the fucking manager here. Hey, man, how many... Lady, I don't care if you're an old lady. I'll smack you in the back and your boobs will fly off. I don't think you'll be smacking me anywhere, buddy. I'll smack your gas. What room are you in? I'm going to be calling the police. How about you sit on my face? What room are you in? I'm, don't tell Why? Are you going to come over here and tie me to the bed and sit on my no, face? No, I'm going to call the fucking cops on you. What? You're a snitch? You can't handle your own problems? I can handle my own problems just fine. But you, you can't. You said you're going to snitch. You're going to snitch to the pigs. the owner is here too, and the owner can come out and take care of it. The okay. owner ain't going to do shit. He's not going to do shit. Good night. That old fart. Good night. How many packs of cigarettes you smoking, honey? <laughs> This is Byron. Hello, Smiley. Sorry, I missed your phone call. Is there a point to this? Okay. Sorry about that. How should I know? No, actually, I was on the another line. I was talking with a customer. I don't even know who you are. Sorry, it is in Smiley's restaurant. I just got the phone call from you. Oh, okay. Just right now. Yes, 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 yes. You didn't tell me why it's you were order. concerned. No, 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 no. I just like I just got the missed call from you just right now. Yeah, why yeah. I, why are you concerned? I, yeah. I was in another line, so. Why are you concerned? Why are you concerned? I'm sorry, just. Why are you concerned? I just concerned for. I just asking for the. Pick why are you concerned? Why are you concerned?
the cat sleeps. Just say no to drugs, ma'am. Just say no.